This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho, there's Jeff Cutter Dive, welcome to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. And on this day, September the 3rd, 1995, a new expansion team started in the NFL. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, to be fair, Carolina also started off their expansion campaign, but Carolina was on the road, whereas Jacksonville was at home. So that's why I'm doing Jacksonville, because they're at home at the, the Jacksonville Municipal Stadium in front of 72,000 fans. So that football fans in Florida would see a third NFL team. The NFL already had two teams in Florida, Miami and Tampa. Miami came over from the AFL and Tampa came over as expansion team in 1976. The NFL wanted to expand to a few more markets to make things a bit more fun and all that. So that's what they did. They added two new squads to make 30 s football teams. There was 28 now, but there's 30. So anyway, Carolina and Jacksonville managed to get the expansion spots that Memphis and Baltimore were hoping for, and St. Louis for that matter. But fortunately for all three cities, they did get other squads. St. Louis got the Rams from Los Angeles, Baltimore got the Ravens, I mean the Browns from Cleveland, and Memphis had the Oilers from Houston. So anyway, speaking of the Oilers, that's who the Jaguars faced in their first ever game. On September 3rd, 1995, the Oilers came into town. Houston was a ragtag team that really didn't do so well the previous few years. In 94, they had an epic collapse in the playoffs to Kansas City, and then the subsequent season, they just sucked. So the Jaguars were hosting the Oilers, and it was a low-scoring affair, only 13 points combined and 3 points by Jacksonville. So they only lost 10-3. to three. The Oilers got the, the only touchdown of the game on a Chris Chandler touchdown pass to Haywood Jeffries to make it 7-0. So it looked good for Houston having Chris Chandler at quarterback. Steve McNair was drafted by the Oilers, but he would have to wait his turn. Now the Greg will get the extra point and a 19-yard field goal, whereas the Jaguars with Mike Hollis late in the game made it 10-3. So good news for the Jaguars. They weren't shut out. Bad news, they lost. You rarely see an expansion team win a game and all that. And that's what happened. I mean, when you look at expansion teams winning in their first games, only the 61 Vikings and the 02 Texans did that in the NFL, winning their expansion NFL competition. But the fact of the matter was that Jacksonville tried their best, but they lost 10-3. And all that. Um, Houston, Chris Chandler was 9 for 14 for 64 yards and a touchdown. They even had a backup, Will Ferrer, 4 for 9, 19 yards. Rushing, Gary Brown, 101 yards. On the ground, receiving, Haywood Jeffries was the only guy with a touchdown. And it was his only reception of the day, the 4 yarder. Jacksonville did drop Mark Brunel. I'm oh, sorry, Mark Brunel was not drafted. He was drafted in the expansion draft. Remember, sure right, Brunel was drafted by another, was drafted by the Packers. But anyway, Steve Bierlein would be the quarterback for the Jaguars on this day. 7 for 17, 54 yards. Whereas Mark Brunel went 3 for 9 with interceptions. So Brunel tried his best, but he just couldn't do it. I don't know if Beerline played for the Jaguars. I know he played for Carolina, the other expansion team, if you will. But Beerline played for them. Running was decent. Brunel did have 36 yards to lead the team in rushing, being James Stewart with 25, and Stewart was a running back. Receiving-wise, the best receiver was Desmond Howard, three times for 33 yards. Desmond would then go on to do bigger, better things the next year for Green Bay. And, of course, his kick return for a touchdown at Super Bowl 31 was magical. And that to the Raiders overpaying to pick him up. Because they needed someone like Desmond Howard, and he flubbed it. 
So the Oilers won 10-3. to And Jacksonville would have to wait a while. Jacksonville nearly got to the playoffs, but they missed out by one game. Oh, that. So that was close. Carolina was 4-12, but Jacksonville was 7-9, which was pretty good. But anyway, yeah, Carolina went to Atlanta and lost to the Falcons in their first game. But Carolina and Jacksonville would actually pull off great second seasons as they both would make the playoffs. Carolina went in the division. Jacksonville, think, I think Jacksonville won their division too. I can't remember. I think they did. But regardless, yeah, they both went to the uh, their conference championship games, but both would lose to New England and Green Bay, respectively. And, you know... It was weird that these teams streamlined themselves in two years to getting to the conference championship game and almost to the Super Bowl. A lot of people probably would have been crying foul that they got special perks. Some people still think that way. But anyway, yeah, Carolina would go to both the 04 and 2016 Super Bowls without getting there. And Jacksonville hasn't been to a Super Bowl, so... You be the judge of who's the more successful expansion team. Probably Carolina. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.